Welcome into this Fox Carolina tailgate web exclusive joined by Patrick Sapp and uh, talking Clemson and BC this week as well as South Carolina and Kentucky. A couple of big games. We're into that like heart of the conference yes. schedule now for both of these teams. Yes. And, uh, you know, recapping on Clemson and NC State. I mean, Clemson came out. I think they answered the question last week. They played well up front. We talked about all year about dominating. And you saw offensive line that dominated NC State in that game. And you saw a defensive line with K led by K.J. Henry that really took over in that game. So they're on the right track right now. Is this almost as much of the benefit of the success against Wake Forest that we saw last week against NC State? Like we're starting to get that ball rolling, it feels yeah, like. Yeah, I think it's a combination from last season. We talk about a lot of the close games they had last year, but that built the character in this team and the belief. And I think it's carried over into this season. They have some questions coming in. A lot of people question Clemson. Are they the real Clemson? Should they be ranked number five? I think with two wins with, with uh, top opponents, I think they've answered that question. And, you know, there was some conversation about, you know, it was that uh, penalty with roughing the punter that, that really flipped the game. But that's the thing like a good team capitalizes on those opportunities and that was the turning point and that's what Clemson is doing right now yeah and I, I think if you talk to coach Swinney he talks about winning right winning the game you have to be able to win it in different ways it's not just one thing to skin the cat right so they wanted to have some special team plays when they needed it that mm -hmm. was a spark I think again that front carried on to into that game with high emotion and a lot of energy uh, and they capitalized on that but uh hey DJ played well but I always talk about my tight ends, and if you saw it in this game, the tight ends were used more in this offense, and they came through. Patrick, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I asked, <laughs> I asked Davo this week about the tight end. He said it's the hardest position next to quarterback. So he's right there with you and the impact that they're making. So uh, they're preparing for Boston College now. A lot of different ways to look at this one. We're going to talk this week on our tailgate show about BC and the threat that this game provides and how Clemson can get better this week. Well, yes. I mean, there's always going to be a tough road game against Boston College. If you know the, the ingredients in that team is built with is heart, they're going to play good defense. They're going to be sound. They're not going to beat themselves. And so you're going to have to go up there with some energy and muster that own energy from yourself because it's an environment that Clemson, Clemson are not used to. I mean, right. they're used to playing in front of 80,000. So you're going to have to bring that energy from last week up to Boston College. But you're going to have to be sound. And again, if the offense uh, go out and play the way they played against NC State, I think the Tigers come home with a win. And then South Carolina on the road getting back into that SEC play. They're coming off of a couple of extra wins. Gamecocks fans have to hope that they're building momentum, but they certainly didn't play anything close to perfect and now they have to go on the road at Kentucky. Yeah, this is a tough, tough, tough road game for South Carolina. I hate it for them because I don't think they're going to be able to go down there and beat Kentucky. I think uh, right one, off the bat. Just yes, I, I mean, it it's, there. listen, I mean, this team is playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, they are playing high level offense, energy on defense. This is a different Kentucky team, and I think the culture is different there. And they're playing SEC top-level football this year. And, you know, Corey wants to. You know, he's not here, so I'll say it for him, that this is that measuring stick game. And everybody wants to say that South Carolina can be that Kentucky <laughs> and off that model, but it, this is really going to illustrate exactly where it is, where, where that relationship, how close you are on that measuring yeah, stick. Yeah, and you can't underestimate role games, right, in any conference. But in SEC especially, it's going to be tough, especially playing against a team that has a culture. They feel like they are winners there now. You know, they're not the old Kentucky And they're basketball mad from school. last week. They are. So don't forget they that they either. Are. They also have some question marks in the personnel situation right now. So we're going to break that all down. That's coming up this week on our Fox Carolina tailgate. Be sure and join us.